Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It's Sonia coming to you live from Junk Monkey Paint Company here in Ligonier, Pennsylvania, where the fun never stops and the paint always seems to fly. What's everybody doing out there today? It is a rainy overcast day here. Yes, what is this? It might look like a big ball of light right here, but really it's not. Um, but I am here standing in my front doorway before we get to it and do some projects today because I wanted to show you that Gort who saw on Saturday, this past Saturday, when me and my friend Claire, we put together that beautiful wreath. Hands up, who saw the fox wreath go down? So you guys have been messaging me saying, Sonia, when do we get to see it? Heck yeah, we want to see it on your door. So you might remember before I went to Texas, hey Chrissy, hey Lori, hey Maureen, thanks for being on here ladies. You make my day complete. Hello Nicole, hopefully your day's going good girl. How are ya? Carrie, Rochelle, Rochelle Brooks, how are ya? Karen Miller, woohoo! All right, so who saw the door? We painted the door from, it wasn't brownie frowny, but it was just black and flat and chipped and dent and dinged, and it just needed some TLC, right? And so before I went to Texas, you guys remember, we hung out and we painted this door. So if you wanna see how I got this look, you can go right here, search the video section of my page and find it. We hung out, we did it live, and we did it over two days, right? The one day we painted it, the other day we went ahead and uh, sealed it. So we talk about all that sort of stuff. But here's the thing. You guys know that um, Matt's not enjoying the wreath that I have in the door right now. And I've told you that I need to go find the new wreath, right? So when I was going to Texas to my friend Claire Nicole, she's crafty too. We were like, you know what? The stars have aligned and we're going to make you a nice front door wreath, right? Hey, 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 back at you, Denise. Yeah, right. We're not underwater, but let me just tell you, we had like buckets coming from the sky earlier. It was crazy. So Matt's gonna be pretty happy because I'm taking off what I call the twiggy. You guys make fun of me, you're like, you said twiggy. It's true, I like the twiggy look, okay? How would you call this, the rustic look? You know what I'm saying? I do like that raw look, so this is cool. Matt, not so much. Oh my gosh, did we lose power? Like, weird things have been happening. I told you we're not underwater here in Lake Nair, but apparently we just lost power. What the heck, this is crazy. You remember Karen? Okay, so anyway, I'm back now from Texas. Hopefully, you know, it wasn't illegal to transport a fox all the way from from uh, Texas to Pennsylvania, but Mr. Fox is in the house. We need a name for him. What is his name, right? You've never been out west before, me either, so it was definitely an adventure. And so I'm working through all the behind-the-scenes footage that I put together and filmed. It will be on my vlog on Friday night, my trip to Texas, okay? Twiggy was a cute model, <laughs> a cute reef too. So here we go, you ready? All right, and this is an example of how color can really make your door, right? So remember, Twiggy, plain, I'm a minimalist. I like to keep it simple. I do like this, but I didn't have time to jazz it up, okay, true story. And I think I got, somebody even gave this to me. I think I was at a junk store, I was. I was at a junk store, I got a bunch of stuff in there and I was looking at this and like, you want that? It's been here forever, you can just have it. I'm like, heck yeah, load me up, right? So, uh, yes, give it to Sonia. She'll take anything. By the way, have you taken my, uh, that's, one of, that's one of the things in my vlog that I did last week. I did take the quiz. How do you know if you are a true junker or not? That's one of the things, just you become that person. Give it to Sonia, she'll take anything, right? Yes, we had a blast. And the, the hospitality, the Southern hospitality lived up to its name. It was amazing. So if we're ready, we're gonna go ahead and show you how from Twiggy and Plain and Minimalist. And of course, we chazzed up the door. Now it is now gorgeous, baby. And uh, it's got some color, right? So I love the orange that's into it. I love, I love all the colors. So it's got brown and black and orange. So here's a tip, okay? You guys remember when I did this door, I told you the color, one of the colors I'm gonna use is candy bar brown. If you ever want a candy bar brown, like a brown to match up with a gray, because remember we've got, we've got um, like a tweet. This is actually grapevine up here. And this uh, right here, the ribbon is also done in like a really cool brown, right? Use smoky coal. Smoky coal is a gray in our chalky style paint that works really, really well with browns. If I had to put this on a cold gray door, it would not look as nice. It would not blend in as nice. And that is because I used a brown gray, okay? So what do you guys think of that? I'm pretty happy with that. I think it came out gorgeous. The jelly ribbon was awesome. I love it. Somebody was in here yesterday and you're like, it, it reminds me of a, um, it reminds me of like a designer purse. So cool. All right, so I wanted to show you guys that first thing so I can put that on my door. 
And so, you know what, if you wanna know how this came to be and how this was put together, go on my Saturdays live and you'll see it be built from scratch, okay? From just, just a plain old wreath, all right? So, I've been vlogging behind the scenes today. What have you guys been up to? Carlos is perfect. Tanellis is beautiful. Heck yeah. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and move over here to our, um, where I'm going to basically teach you guys and talk with you about dry brushing today. I have to show you though and say thank you so much because even when I step over this bunch of stuff, I'm just so grateful. Guys, you, you've been sending me happy mail. So what I decided to do was start opening it up opening it up on my vlogs and uh, so everybody gets to enjoy it and basically we all get to have happy mail together so like how cool is that right all right let me put you over here on this tripod so on the vlog going up tonight every Tuesday Wednesday and Friday we do new videos behind the scenes at the junk monkey um, you'll see me opening up opening up Matt I can't even talk today happy mail and uh, seeing what's inside and I got some good gifts today you guys are awesome you don't have to send me gifts but oh, you good but uh, it's pretty amazing that you did. So I wanted to share it with everybody, right? Let's see here. Guys, I'm trying to get you on my tripod. Bear with me, all right? Do you hear that snap? It just, just does not want to work. Oh, yay, okay. You're in there, you're secured. I'm pretty sure you are, unless something's being wonky this morning. Let's see here, if you fall on the floor, just be prepared, okay? You know what I'm saying? You've been wanting to learn dry brush brushing? Yes. Oh, okay, we got you secured. All right, we ain't gonna touch that no more. Phew! Guys, seriously, work for it. Never give up. You can manifest your dreams. We can have you stay on the tripod. All right, so true story. I can say hello in here. Can you see me in here? Can you see me in here? So this was a mirror that I found in my junk and travels. Look at that. It's all taped in the back. I don't care. It's against the wall. Nobody's gonna see that. Do you see how much it was though? A dollar ninety. Nine dollar ninety nine. So I'm like, this has been kicking around my shop. I gotta paint this, and also I found this as well, which I like. So a lot of times you find stuff like this at a junk store, but you're like, what do I do with it? So I just want you to know that in today's today's video, I want to show you like dry brushing and just what a difference it can make. Okay. So let me see here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab. A first color for this mirror first all right so here is the truth I tell you all the time if it's frowny frowny furniture paint it and yes we've got tons more furniture to paint as we are gearing up for another paint your furniture challenge so stay tuned on that today I'm painting odds and ends around my shop and getting it knocked out so I can get them on the wall and they can go to uh, some happy person right so a lot of times I tell you guys though when you are painting that you know brownie frowny put some color onto it so this is like the exception when I love to find brownie frowny pieces and I love to basically bring them back to my shop and jazz them up okay because this is just like it's a it's a hard plastic how many times have you seen these at the junk store right for just a few bucks but I like to be able to use a brownie frowny base, put a color over it, and basically without even having to do all the, um, you know, like sometimes you guys see me do glazing or edging and all that sort of stuff, this is how easy it is, okay? So if you find a piece, or even if you have a piece of furniture that has some beautiful, beautiful like decor on the front of it, using this technique will really make those, um, make all that pop, right? Because you could take a heavy loaded brush and go and paint all this, but I'm gonna show you the other way. Because as a shabby painter, with my shabby chip brushes, you guys know that I love my shabby chip brushes, um, with the kind of look that I love to do, these are awesome for it. They're on the website, junkmonkeypaint.com, if you wanna get some and add them to your paint order. We'll throw them in for you. So I keep these brushes and use them over and over again, okay? And the reason why I do is because, you know what? It's almost like they get better with age. I love, some of them become really, really rough. Can you see like some of them are really, really rough? And some of them are like more newer, right? But so I pick one that has a really nice, like he's got like, he's got like a major fro going on, okay? He's got like major hair issues. He's got like bed head, okay? So that's what I want when I do a dry brush. And the reason what's called a dry brush is when you do not, what you do is you do not um, basically soak your paint brush. You put a little bit of little bit of paint on it, and what will happen is all the 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 that combined with the brush, you get basically like scratchy marks, like distress marks. And so it's not a full coverage look. It is a very shabby distress look. So without even having to like paint this piece brown. I'm gonna make use of the existing color that it is, and right now it's looking kind of like like black and it has a little bit of bronze into it. Put my dollar ninety nine 
sticker aside. That's like a win, right? So I'm gonna play that up. So I'm gonna dip my brush into my antique lace. I'm gonna take off a whole bunch, as much as I can off the sides of it. And then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going to basically pull it over my piece. And automatically, like if you guys love firm house, if you're trying to look for um, you know, shabby distressed items for your collection, go to the thrift store, get pieces like this, and then use the paint, pull your brush over the top of it, and what it does, again, I'm just putting a little bit on my paintbrush, not a whole lot, and what I'm doing is I'm gonna totally change this piece up from being looking brownie frowny. Look how the difference it makes, right? So now it's gonna be really cool and like really light and farmhouse and country or romantic country. Just make sure I get the top up here. But I'm not trying to fill it all in. So the brush is the key, then use the paint that's the key. And because our chalky style paint, of course, it sticks on pretty much everything under the sun, it's gonna stick on this plastic mirror, right? So I don't have to prime it or anything like that. And just very gently, I'm gonna pull it around. And so it creates all those little scratch marks. Like how beautiful is that, right? So, you know, you can pay a lot of money and find farmhouse decor online and get it shipped to you. Or you can go to the junk store, find cheap pieces, and then do a dry brush effect over the top of it to be able to create the most beautiful just pieces that you have, right? And it's leaving the leaving that existing bronze color that's on it that what happens is it creates the antiquing look inside of it. Does that make sense? So this brush, you're not gonna wanna use like a very fluffy brush. You're not gonna wanna use your Klingon brush. You're not gonna use anything that's full coverage. The key is your shabby chip brush, very light handed, very light paint and drag it over all those basically mountains and valleys and then what happens is the valleys show all the darkening right so automatically you have just just beautiful very you know light mirror guys thank you so much for sharing this video i think i should give somebody away a head wrap today i'm wearing mine today I think somebody should uh, get a head wrap. So share the video. I will announce the winner at the very end and somebody will get a gorgeous head wrap, a mystery head wrap shipped to them no matter where you are. All right, so we'll do that. How about that? Oh, I love that. And guys, I don't, you can see that I do not tape off the inside of the mirror. Um, so here's my tips for you when you're working on a mirror, okay? So, for me, I'm just gonna wing it, and if I happen to get any paint on the inside of the mirror, which could definitely happen because this is real life, all I'm gonna do is go get a Lysol wipe. And if you guys do not know that Lysol wipes are your friends, I'm telling you right now. And I say Lysol, but just know that you could get any brand that you want, okay? Those things are made to break down, you know, I think cold and flu viruses, but let me just tell you, they also break down paint. So I use just a Lysol wipe to clean my mirror right after I'm done painting, or you could get some painter's tape, right, and put along the inside, but you don't have to get crazy. I mean, how quickly did we do this flip, and now it's like, boom, done, right? So let me just make a look, take a look around, make sure I got all my edges, everything looks good. Yep, yep, yep. All right, boom, done. Like, how beautiful is that, guys, right there? I love it. Well, thank you very, very much. All right, so let's do the other one. Let's put a pop of color on the other one. I was just looking at my arm. So one of my happy mail things that I got today, if you're like, what the heck, Sonia's on your arm? Mm -hmm. Kate behind the scenes here, who's like the beauty guru of the bunch, was uh, I, got, I opened up my Epsi bag today in my vlog for tonight, and uh, I got some new lipstick and some new eyeshadow, and so uh, she was teaching me how to do swatches, right? So I talk paint and color that way. She, she teaches me beauty things, right? So you know what I'm saying. Yes, it does look so much better. All right, let's go ahead and put a pop of color onto it. Grab one of my shabby chip brushes. Again, I'm looking for the most shabby one possible. All I do is I clean these in my sink when I'm done. You guys know on the website we have what's called lye soap cleaners. That's perfect. I put my lye soap cleaner, grab one of those like travel boxes that you get. Uh, you know when you travel? And if you were in this today's age, take a bar of soap with you. You know those little soap boxes, plastic ones you get for like a dollar? Put your soap down in that, and then all you do is just take your brush, put it under water, I swish it all over, swish it all over that soap, and then rinse it out, okay? And then it's done, and then you just let it dry, okay? So also, a tip for hanging them, if, you've, if you have a space like over a dry sink or anything like that, I did in my other uh, shop, and I have not yet installed one in this shop since I've moved and relocated, but uh, what I 
found was if I got myself one of those towel hangers, you know the ones that swing open and you can like you're supposed to put your dishcloths on and they dry. There's usually like three or four arms to them. They have little small hooks, right, that come out. And all these paintbrushes have little holes in the top of them. And it's perfect for if you install something like that above your dry sink and then, you know, rinse them out and then hang them up and that way all your bristles of everything hang straight because what will happen is if you let these dry but something happens where the end of the end of the bristles are like sitting like you know at a curve then your brush comes out completely curved and it's so hard to paint with okay so that's probably my best tip if you get one of those kitchen uh, towel hangers and I love those they're awesome all right so again reuse them over and over again I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Bahama Jade because I am a I love me some vibrant color can you guys see that down here? I'll hold it up just like this, like the fleur de lis. This reminds me of when I was in Louisiana. I got the drive through Louisiana. Shout out to Louisiana. All right, so again, I'm pulling the Bahama Jade off my brush as much as possible, shabby chip brush, and now I'm gonna very lightly, very, very lightly. You don't wanna put too much on. The key is with the dry brush just to allow the bristles just to hit, like I say, the peaks and the valleys. And without really doing anything, guys, You've got like, look how beautiful the bottom of this, the patina it creates just from dry brushing, right? The scratchiness of the brush with a very lightly loaded brush and using a brush like this. So if you're somebody out there who's got decor on your wall and you're over it and you just wanna brighten it, don't buy new, go just paint what you got. Um, if you're somebody that does booths out there where you do like, you know, uh, shows and vendor shows and things like that, go junk and all day long, my friend, get the brownie frowny pieces that everybody else has donated you go, you put some beautiful, beautiful color onto them just with your dry brush technique and you've got the makings of just beautiful decor, right? And you're able, for somebody, I'm a business coach behind the scenes, you guys know, for creatives. And my, my club actually is closing to new members as we get ready to kick off some new training for August. It's over, actually, Kate, if you'd be so kind to put that link up, that would be amazing. Uh, but it's over at junkmonkeypaint.com. Click Coach and Create Club. Uh, okay, all right. Yeah. Do you want to put it on yours? That'd be awesome. So um, if you wanna join this weekend, Sunday I think it closes and we kick off another training. But you know, I tell you guys in there that I've always built my business on a budget. And um, so being able to have a booth or be able to make some money for your family and be able to just do something like this, do flea market flips, just doing the dry brush technique, right? Would be beautiful. Could you use a teal glaze as a patina? You totally could use the glaze as a patina. It's gonna be different though. It's gonna give you a different look. What would be pretty though is if I took some of the teal and I put on top of here too, that would be really, really nice. Um, so with the, so now I've got the darkness coming through. I've got the Bahama Jade which Bahama Jade is my favorite color to use. Like if you're somebody who gravitates towards, you know, like turquoises and you just love that, that patina, Bahama Jade is awesome to go on top of brown. If you love like that rustic cowboy, you know what I'm talking about? Barbed wire, you know, galvanized kind of look. But that color on top of brown just gives you such a really pretty, um, just a pretty combo together, right? So just know that I could have put Bahama Jade on here as well. Again, this is the chalky style paint that I'm using today. Um, and it sticks to pretty much everything under, under the sun, I pretty much always say, because stuff is made of everything. So, but you could put color on here too, but in this case, I went light, and so I know that somebody who's, you know, just trying to make, maybe make their space feel a little bit bigger, they're gonna want light things for their room, right, to really do. Linda had the va vacuum. Linda, you're not here because you had the vacuum, come on. You know that we don't judge. Dust bunnies just become part of the pets. It's all good, it's all good. So yay, there we go, two easy projects knocked out. So I'll be able to put these on my uh, shop floor, right? Yes, Bridget's my club. Bridget, thank you so much. I opened your gift on my vlog for tonight. It was awesome. I know it's bright when I'm up close to that, to that camera, but I had to have it on so you guys could see the project. So I'll just stand back here and wave. You guys have any questions for me before I take off? Because if there's anything I can help you with, or you're getting ready to paint something this weekend, and you just kind of like need some help, by all means, let me know. And I'm also gonna holler out a winner, right? So yesterday, if you missed it, by the way, what did I do with it? What did I do with it? Did you see my, let me find it, guys. Let me find it right over here, right over here. My mermaid, where'd she go? I just had her. I know where she is. Oh, you do? Yeah. She swam off. All right, so some fun stuff, right? Oh, Dee Dee's off to see the new granddaughter. Uh, oh my gosh, congratulations. Congratulations. Chris, I am. I've been doing the keto diet for like the last probably, I want to say now eight weeks, two months, and I feel amazing. I feel amazing. 
Absolutely. You're so, so kind. So watch that on tonight, okay? Yeah. Alligators on the road to Arkansas. What? Really? Okay. All right. I was getting excited, right, on the way down to Texas. I did see an alligator on the way back. We saw them. Absolutely. And I saw one, like, up close. Like, absolutely. It was pretty darn cool. All right. I don't know what I did with her. But anyway, if you need some inspiration, if you're just catching me now, yesterday I did an awesome plank tutorial. So go, go back and check that one out to do, like, faux, like, talking about turquoise and colors. Because you don't always have to have the classics, right? You can you could do some really fun, colorful stuff, too, right? So, all right, let me go ahead, let me go ahead, get a winner here. Kate's looking for, for my mermaid. Kate, do you want to do a winner today? Yeah, I'll go first. All right, you go ahead and you holler out a winner. Okay. Margaret Wells, how are you? Vicky's here. All right, I'm going to pass the torch to Kate because she has fun with that. And then you guys can message me, right, at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com. As long as your name is if your name is called out, just message me uh, by midnight Eastern Standard Time tonight, and I will send you out a lovely head wrap. So the one I'm wearing today is like our under the sea one. Yeah. Jean Parison. Jean Parison. Yeah. How do you spell her first name? J e a n e. J e a n e. So it might be Jeannie or Jean. Is that you? <laughs> Say it again. Jean Parison, right? Yeah. Well, hopefully she's here so we can get it right. This was called Bahama Jade. It's one of my favorite colors in the whole wide world right there. Can you see it? Like, that doesn't make you happy? Yeah, seriously. So that's fun. That is fun. If you don't want anything that's too green, then use the Teal River, which is like a blue teal, right? That's pretty cool. All right, so there you go. So message me over at uh, jugmonkeypaint at gmail.com, and I'll hook you up, Jean. Just do it before midnight tonight, and I'll send you out an awesome, awesome head wrap. Heck yeah, right? I'll keep that for my store. This is Berry Dance with some black bean on it, like with um, black velvet, and I also created a black wax. So that's all. That's on the vlog as well. Super, super cool. All right, my friends. Well, you guys take care. I will see you again tomorrow for another DIY project right here on our page. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and finish my vlog for tonight, so go check that out as well. Um, actually, if you go to jugmonkeypaint.com, click Jug Monkey TV. And there you go. Yay, Jeannie. All right. Take care, my friends. Much love. Hopefully the sunshine is out where you are. Take care. Bye.